so I got something to show you guys. So, you know, the whole time we were waiting on control arms for the rear. Well, they finally came in. Like I said on all the other vlogs, I got mad and patient. Sorry did the rear. That looks disgusting. I don't know how I feel about that much tuck. So what I'm gonna probably do is raise the bag up just a little bit, maybe pull out a little bit more camber, then I gotta fit the front. But all in all, it looks kind of tight. It's in there. Like, that is nuts. All I did was throw the upper control arms on, put the wheels back on, and this is how it sits. So before I adjust the back, I need to do the front. So I don't have <clears throat> adjustable top pads in the front. So these are like the first Gen D2 struts that I got built. So I'm gonna have to do it with like the camera bolt in the front. So as long as I get another degree, degree and a half, I can sit the front just like the back, but I'm gonna end up raising the back up some so it sits a little bit like right there on top of the lip. So I'm excited. So with these D2 struts, I don't have any camera plates. So what I'm gonna have to do is take this top bolt out, which I believe is a 17 or 19, and put in camera bolts. What that's gonna do is allow me to lay this in just maybe another degree and a half, two degrees max, I believe. So hopefully this all goes well and I can sit dope like the rear. All right, so this is how the front came out. It looks pretty dope. I really, 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 I'm not too fond of tucking now. I don't know why. I mean, it looks tight. I'm not gonna mess my fenders up or nothing like that. The rear is way too low, absolutely way too low. So right now it being aired out, it just looks tooted. So definitely gotta raise the rear at least two or three inches, at least. The front, I kinda wanna raise the front up too, just a little bit. So when I air out to zero PSI, it sits right above the top of the rim. So I might do that for both, so I just don't run into any issues. I start raising stuff up. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other corner because I've only done the three corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and camber the front like I did this side, and then I'll air the whole car out so I can kind of see how it sits, and then I go around and raise the car up to how I need to. I don't like it. The front's dope, rear is horrible. I'm about to raise it up so this sits right above the rim, and I'm gonna do the same for the back, and then bring some of that camber out. Can't do it, I don't care. All right, so I'm going to put a pause to this just because it's Thanksgiving. I'm about to pull up to AP's house, go get some food, and then later on tonight, we'll come back and tinker with this. Because right now, I'm over that. I really don't like how that came out. The tucking is cool or whatever, but it just, it ain't for me. I don't know. It just don't do nothing for me. It just don't look right. Because the car is a natural wide body, so the wheels itself should be fitting like if it was wide body. When you tuck, it just looks whack. So, about to go get some food, and then we'll come back down here later on. So, AP, I'm on the way. Okay, so, AP cooked some bomb at food, and uh, we, we were in a food coma for like two and a half hours. So, now we're back. He's playing with his pickup. So, first things first, I actually like the way the front sits. The reason I hate how the rear sits is because it sits way lower. So... Before I mess with the front, I'm gonna raise the rear to make it sit like the front and see if I like it. So that's the next step, let's go. And film this like I should've. So if you look at this bag, like it's almost bottomed out. But if you look at this side, I'm hoping you can see it, let me get better. <laughs> better. So if you see right there, how much I raised it. That allowed the wheel to sit this close to the fender, which is exactly what I needed so I won't mess these up. So now I need to do it to this side. Horrible angle, your mom's a hoe, just pay attention. But as I brought the camber out in the rear, it actually raised the car like two inches, which is, is super weird. So if you see, there is a huge, horrible, 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 come on, come on. There's a huge gap now. And that's with the strut at zero PSI. So obviously I got control arms on the bottom are fully adjustable and the upper control arms we just put on. So I wanted to bring the lowers in so it takes stress off the CV axle. So before when I aired out, it was, it was just yanking the CV axle out the hub. I'm sure everybody that has a Subaru like this that wants to go dumb camber has probably ran into this because they went with upper or lowers first, then had to get uppers. So yeah, it just, it, it's just weird. It's got like an inch and a half, two inch difference now from when it was, when I had to raise it. So now I gotta lower it back down. So it's just back and forth, back and forth, but I'll show you where we are right now. See, as you can see, 
got a huge gap on both sides. But I still got dumb camber. Now I still want to do fender to lip, but I'm just trying to gauge it to where when it's at zero PSI, it sits right above the tire so I don't hit the quarter panel or anything. But this side is way higher and that's all the way aired out while the front sits like mm. so I'm gonna dial this in by eye first before putting the uh lasers on the wheels to do the alignment and then I'm gonna raise it up on here and then bring the strut I mean that bag back down to where it sits like super close. So that's what I'm gonna do and then I can adjust the camber and toe when we get the lasers on. Like that looks awful. So that's what we are right there. Look at the front. Like perfect. Completely aired out. No more PSI in it. Nothing. And I got this side pretty much identical. Only a little bit of space. So I'm going to leave this alone. The rear, I'm probably going to sit a little bit higher than this just because it's, oh, I've been having issues with the quarter panels forever. So I'm going to sit the rear pretty much a little bit higher than this. Maybe like a finger gap just in case I get into an uneven surface when I air out. It don't hit. It don't do nothing. So it's like back and forth, back and forth. So I finally got the car to sit exactly how I wanted to when I aired it out. It brought it to like super, super close to the rim. I cut it there, locked everything down. The camera's adjusted and everything. So now after everything's been dialed in, it's time to align it. I feel like it's been a long journey with this thing, but we're all set up. Got the lasers on the wheels. Now it's time to adjust camber, toe, makes sure everything's even. Lime is all done. This thing looks amazing. Like, I don't know if you've ever like done something to a car and like, like dude, I really just did that. Like, look how perfect, perfect, both sides. Like the camber is not as aggressive as it used to be because I was at negative like 12 or 13 in the back. Now I'm sitting at negative nine, which is still a lot, but this thing sits freaking great. The front's not all the way down. I can tell, but that's probably where I'm setting my preset just so it stays right there and has no problems. <sighs> I'm stoked. I gotta walk back. Take a look. Oh, moist. I'm ready to get this thing off the rack, pull it outside and see what it looks like outside. It's kind of, sounds kind of stupid, but it's like, like kids, there's daylight in here, daylight lights, I'm retarded. You know what I mean, shut up. I love it. Absolutely love it. Like, I don't know. I just, this is way better. The car is mad dirty, obviously, but it sits really good. Bend it a lip all the way around. The front may sit a little bit more aggressive, which I don't believe I will. But I'm very, very, very excited. So now all I gotta do is clean up everything. I haven't even drove it yet. I'm kind of scared because I wanted to be, I wanted to drive straight. I wanted to have no problems. So I'm gonna check the tire pressure one last time. Check the tire pressure. I gotta move my truck out the way and then go drive. So, oh, just look at it. I like how it's not as aggressive as it used to be. That negative 12 was cool, it looked good, but like it was really, really, really aggressive. I know I kinda sound like a weak ass stance dude, whatever, I don't care. It looks way better now. So now my, my rod height is like negative six, negative seven, aired out is negative nine. Before my rod height was negative nine, aired out negative 12 and a half, 13, something like that. So now it should drive a whole lot better, should handle a whole lot better. And to me, all around, it looks a whole lot better. I'm excited, very excited. I think it looks great. Now let's go drive it. So, car's driving awesome, it's driving really good. Um, the alignment's dead on. With these tires though, I don't miss these tires just because I gotta run 40 PSI and they're, it just, it just rides off. Uh, I was previously on some Federals, the S595, but you can't get them no more, which is kind of annoying. I still got two, but it, they're stupid. So right now I'm on the Nan Kings, which they're all right. They just ride like crap. I got to have 40 PSI on them because I'm running a 225.35 on a 10 wide. So yeah, whatever, beggars can't be choosers. So other than that, the car.
car drives great. I'm excited to have my wheels back on the car. I keep looking down, pretty much just like the last vlog. I got a leaky badge. I'm just paying attention to it just so nothing happens. Uh, which I got some stuff in the works for that yet too. I don't wanna I don't wanna throw that out there yet, but I did pick up a sponsor, so I will probably post that in the next vlog. But as of right now, this thing is phenomenal and I cannot believe I'm back on my wheels again. Like it's just been like a long process from the motor, the painting, the reassemble, just all the crap I've gone through with this thing. So I'm blessed. So let's have a little bit of B-roll and then uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.